but yes, uh, we'll uh, have that for you pretty soon on the show. Well, headlines about spinal cord injuries are usually bad news, but not today. This is really exciting. Start of the uh, state of the art robot robotic technology, sorry, uh, unveiled today is bringing patients new hope. Now, in a southern hemisphere first, surgeons reveal the equipment that could benefit up to 100 Aussie patients per week. And we're joined by one of those surgeons, Dr. Jonathan Ball. How are you, Doctor? Very well. Good morning to you both Good again. Good morning. Now, talk us through why this is revolutionary and what role robotics plays in yeah. this area. So this new device is called the Renaissance Robot, and it transforms spine surgery from being just a freehand procedure to really a state-of-the-art guided procedure. And that will offer patients greater safety in surgery, better accuracy, and facilitates less invasive surgeries. So are you still doing the actual surgery yourself or is a robot actually getting in there and getting into the spine? Uh, it's very important in this situation to recognise that the surgeon is still in complete control. Right. The robot is a guidance system. The surgeon will plan the surgery beforehand on a scan. The computer feeds that into the robot and the robot then positions itself. So as we have to place screws or implants in the spine, they're placed accurately and safely with a millimetre accuracy according to that predetermined plan that we have. As we mentioned earlier, I had no idea a hundred Aussie patients suffer some form of spinal injury every week. That, uh, that's a hundred patients will undergo spinal fusion every week and spinal fusion can be done for a number of different reasons, sometimes trauma, but probably the vast majority are for degenerative conditions, wear and tear change, curvature of the spine, instability of the spine tumour or cancer in the spine where the spine needs to be stabilised and the mainstay of that is placing these screws in the spine to hold it together. When you think about where a screw goes you've got spinal cord, nerves, major blood vessels around it and so accuracy is paramount and the Renaissance robot uh, allows us to perform the most accurate surgery in those situations. What's been the reaction amongst patients and even maybe the old guard of surgeons who the idea of robots getting involved in this sort of field might be you know repugnant to them? Yeah. Well as Natasha said this is a new technology and so it probably hasn't been around enough to really garner everyone's opinion on it. We know from studies overseas it does increase safety and I don't think anyone should stand in the way of safety and patient care. There's many fields of humor endeavor, human endeavour where we recognise our performance can be enhanced with technology. Um, at the moment we're still in control but in the future it may be that there's more and more robotic assistance as we've seen in other fields of surgery. Often we hear medical breakthroughs, state-of-the-art te technology. How important is this and what kind of difference will it make? I think in all uh, patient care, uh, safety is paramount. Um, you just saw about stories that you had in the headlines of medicines hurting sure. people and those sorts of things. So patient care is paramount and safety is paramount. And everything we can do to make sure our surgeries are safer uh, is going to be a better thing. Uh, technology moves along s sometimes incrementally but sometimes there are really big advances and I think this is one of those biggest steps in terms of ensuring patient safety in surgery. Yeah, well if it's uh, creating a safer environment for the patients then that's the result we're after. Uh, good luck with it. Um, no, it's fantastic. You're not going to be out of a job anytime soon though, are you? I don't think so. Okay. I hope not. Good to hear. Thanks for joining no, us. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Well on the way this morning,